Hey guys, my grab mic one here. Um, this is the massive vital update I've been promising you guys. Um, so yeah, um, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I was going through a family uh, death crisis. Uh, I lost uh, my uh, my cousin. I lost her a newborn baby, and I've been going through depression and uh, and uh, I've been sick too. So that made it even worse. So, but I'm better now. I'm, I'm a little bit better now. You see, I got my Led Zeppelin t-shirt on. I, I call this the Summer of Zeppelin. They've been releasing, uh, they re-released the first three albums by Led Zeppelin, so it's pretty cool. Jimmy Page did that. So, um, yeah. Um, let's sit a little closer here. Um, this is the vinyl update. This is what I got from Chicago in here a couple days ago. I'm not going to be buying vinyl for a while. Just, uh, just take a little break. My, uh, I ordered some stuff online. You'll be seeing an unboxing of that. And... Uh, sometime in July, I'm gonna go to Hot Topic and pick up a new vinyl <coughs> and stuff. So yeah, here we got. Uh, first, we we'll start with James Gang. This is Thirds, my favorite James Gang album. I love Joe Walsh. This this Ohio band is awesome. Love I love this this album. It has my favorite James Gang song in here, Walk Away. It's a really good song, and this album's pretty good. I love I like this album quite a bit. So yeah. Got it for a, I got it for a dollar. You can see that on the price tag. This is a dollar on it. So yeah, got it for a buck. Not bad. Good album. Next is uh, Asia's uh, sophomore effort, Alpha. I don't like this album as much. Oh, I forgot to show the condition. James Gang. Let me do that real quick. Take out the sleeve. It's on ABC Record label. Um, I ordered some plastic sleeves for my uh, loose vinyl with just the covers uh, showing off. So we're going to be seeing some plastic sleeves quite soon. Okay, back to Asia's the, uh, second album, Alpha. I don't like this album as much as their debut. I, th I think it's more commercial, but I still enjoyed it. It's just not as good. I might have to listen to it a few more times, but... The cover's beautiful, though. I love Asia's covers. This is a very beautiful cover art. Got it for a dollar again. There's the sleeve. It's in good shape. There's <coughs> a <It's a> record. <sighs> I'm still fighting the cough. I cleaned the I cleaned all of these. They're all in great shape now. They play great. James Gang kind of sounds not very good. It was a little scratched up, but I still bought it. It was a buck, so why not? I just go for anything that I like for a buck. Yeah, it's, uh, Alpha by Asia, their debut is way better, but it's still I still recommend it if you're an Asia fan. I am a little bit now. Journey Escape, I got this in Chicago at uh, Reckless Records. Um, very good album. This is a really good album. I love this album. I don't like as much as uh, Frontiers or Infinity. Infinity is my favorite Journey album, but this album is really good. <coughs> it's the first one about Greg Raleigh on key on keyboard. He quit after uh, the uh, uh, after the Dream After Dream soundtrack, I think, and uh, the the live album captured. This has a Don't Stop Believing, one of their most famous songs, and Open Arms. This is a decent album. It's it's good. I don't like it as much as their other albums, but I still enjoyed it. It sounds really good for being used. It's a little. That's the condition of the record label. Good album. Very good, very cool album. Got it for a buck, so there we go. Pretty cool. Uh, then we got the last one about the plastic cover. This is uh, Steve Miller Band's Joker. Got that for a buck, too. Two dollars at Reckless Records in Chicago. This is a good album. I really enjoyed this one. Um, not as much as Fly Like an Eagle, which I think I showed you that in my previous video or not. Let me, let me go grab it. I think I, ha I have it. Oh, I think I, I, think I got a video. Yeah. But here is a Fly Like an Eagle. I got this for free. My dad had three copies of this. One was my mom's, one's my dad's, and one's mine now. This was my dad's friends from back in the 70s. This is my favorite Steve Miller album. I love their late era. I love his late stuff within the late 70s. Uh, Joker to uh, Abracadabra. But anything after and before, I don't like that much. Same effect I have on Journey, really. But yeah, this is a good album. And uh, Joker, I don't like as much, but I still enjoy it. It's a gatefold.
I know I'm sitting way too close to the camera and I'm about to fall my <laughs> out. Ugh. Man, this chair is awful. Yeah. This is a good record in the condition of this. It's on a capital label. It's actually pretty clean. Uh, I think I need to redust these, the ones about the covers. You definitely need redusting. Yeah, good record. Yeah, these are on the Capitol label. Let me show you the condition of Fly Like an Eagle. Well, it's in pretty good shape when I cleaned it out. It's in wax. It's in pretty decent shape. Love Fly Like an Eagle. That album's just fantastic. My copy's a little beat up, but I got it for free, and so it's pretty cool. Okay, the rest of these are in plastic. This is Joe Jackson's Night and Day. Uh, my cousin bought me this. He said, you need to listen to this album. I'll buy it for you. I'm like, okay. I um, got this at Logan's Hardware in Chicago. It's pretty cool. They got the plastic here. It's a gatefold. This is a good jazz record. I really enjoyed this. I thought I wouldn't, but I, I really liked it. It's one of my favorites. <coughs> Excuse me. Good condition. This is a good album, one of my favorites. Pete, uh, Peter and Robert Z in the Vinyl Community. Uh, uh, list your comments about this album below. It's a really good record. I like it. Okay, then we got some Genesis albums. I'm a huge, huge Genesis fan. I love the late era and I, the early era with uh, Peter Gabriel and I love the Phil Collins era. I love Genesis. I, got, I bought and then there were three. Um, this is a good album. Very good album. I got this at Logan's Hardware as well. This was two bucks. Bought two Genesis albums from there. This is one of them. This is one of my all-time favorite Genesis albums. This is really, really good. I don't have a favorite. I've listened to the first half of Duke. My dad has a copy of that. This is on the Atlantic label, by the way. Yeah, good shape. For original. Not, this is not a reprint. I do want to buy Genesis albums on vinyl. I have greatest hits on my iPod, so um, I don't really need that much CD. <coughs> Excuse me, but this is a good album. I love this album. Recommend it if you're a Genesis fan. And I bought Genesis. Uh, Genesis. Uh, their self-titled album, Genesis is, is their self-titled, whatever. I bought this at Logan's Hardware too. This was two bucks. It was in the Genesis section. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm buying this. It's still in the original plastic shrink wrap, so that's kind of cool. The sleeve's in really bad condition, but here's the record. It's in great shape. I love this album. Good album. This is a good album. Recommend it. I ordered Invisible Touch online, so now that should be coming in sometime this week. Rolling Stones Hot Rocks. This is a greatest hits compilation with Rolling Stones. This is stuff from 1964 to 1971. Pretty cool cover. Great greatest hits. I my dad has it on CD. I have it on vinyl. It's great. It's not in the best condition. This thing was water damaged. When I looked through, I didn't even know it was water damaged. It still plays, but. Still, it's not in great shape. The whole thing's like really warped. Even the vinyl's warped. Here's the first. First one. See, it's a little curvy. It's like, I don't know. Maybe because of the age. But yeah, it's pretty bad. But I bought it. If it wears out on me soon, I'll buy another copy. I could find copies of these anywhere. But I wanted to pick it up. The second one. It's a double album with their greatest hits. It has like <clears throat> Time is on my side. I can't get no satisfaction. 
Get Off My Cloud, uh, Mother's Little Helper, 19 Nervous Breakdown, Painted Black, Under My Thumb, Ruby Tuesday, Let's Spend Some Night Together. Spend the night together, I'm sorry. Jumpy Jack Flash, Street Fighting Man, Sitting Food for the Devil, Honky Talk Women, The Electric Version, uh, Gimme Shelter, Midnight Rambler, Live. It's actually live. You can't always get what you want. Brown Sugar and Wild Horses. Love the Rolling Stones. I really like the Rolling Stones. I don't love them, but I really like them as a rock band. I like their stuff between the <clears throat> uh, Gimme Shelter to, uh, to um, Tattoo You, but anything before that is good, but I have this, so I don't need to buy their uh, earlier albums. And I'm not too crazy of the new era with steel wheels and stuff like that. I'm not too crazy about that. I mean, like, I kind of like their recent album. In 2005, but I wasn't a fan. This is one of the rarest records I ever bought. Oh, this was also from Reckless. This was from Reckless Records. This I bought from The Exchange along with um, James Gaines Thirds in uh, Asia Alpha. <coughs> Layla and other, uh, uh, other Sorted Love songs by Derek and the Dominoes. Eric Clapton's best album. I really love this, to have this in my collection. I haven't played it yet, I'm going to soon, but this album is fucking rare. I found this for 20 bucks. This is an original pressing. It's not a freaking reprint or a 180 gram reprint, but this is great. Um, it has Dwayne Ullman on guitar, one of my favorite guitarists of all time. Jimi Hendrix was part of this album too. I don't think no one ever knew about that. This thing needs a new sleeve because the tape kind of got ripped up, but there it is. It's in great shape. It's a double album. I highly recommend this if you're an Eric Clapton fan. You need to pick this up. This is his classic, a classic album. This is just a great album. It's in really, really good condition. Really good condition. I need to buy his stuff from Cream and some of his solo material on vinyl and on CD as well. I'm a huge Eric Clapton fan. I love his stuff. I love his League of Weapons soundtrack as well. It's in really good shape. I love this. Love to have this. Can't wait to play it. This is great. Nice to have it in the collection. Even I, I, I dared my dad that I, I wouldn't find this in Chicago. I never found it, but I found it here. It was pretty sweet. Yeah. Ugh. Needs a, definitely needs a new sleeve. <laughs> that in my Hotel California needs a new sleeve too. Oh, yeah. Here's the Death Wish 2 soundtrack by Jimmy Page. This thing is also rare. Um, this is the first thing that Jimmy Page did after what after what happened in Led Zeppelin. You, you know, John Bot. Uh, after when Led Zeppelin like uh, ended their their the band. After when they disbanded, uh, Jimmy Page made this. Um, it's different, but it's great to have. For, if you're a Jimmy Page fan and Led Zeppelin fan, you need to have this. I got this usually costs over a hundred bucks. I got it for nine bucks at Reckless Records. It's awesome to have. I love this album. I played it. It's great. It's in mint condition. It's in really, really, really good shape. It's playable. There's like the cat the list of the songs. This is a it's a really great movie. I love that Wish too, which always brought it. <coughs> and also Death Wish 3. It's on the Swang Song label. And the soundtrack by Jimmy Page just made the movies even better. It, it's like really a great soundtrack. It's really atmospheric and has some guitar solos here and there, but not not much. It mainly has like moody synthesizer stuff. It's on the Swang Song label. It's it's just a really underrated soundtrack. I'm surprised they even found this in Chicago. I, I wasn't expecting to find this, and then I found it. I'm like, oh yeah, this is it's. I'm, I'm snagging this. It's like a must have if you're like a final collector and stuff. It's out of print on CD as well. There's not going to be any reissues of this because this didn't really sell well. But it's nice to have in the collection. Death Wish 2. Great soundtrack. 
to a very good movie. Another Reckless Record purchase, an original pressing of L.A. Woman by The Doors. Great album. This is my favorite Doors album now. Um, after when I keep picking the, their debut album in L.A. Woman, this is actually my favorite album by The Doors. Love this album. I love it. Love Planet on Vinyl. I have it on uh, CD as well. I should do that in one of my CD updates. And I love this too. I love doing this. <laughs> On the uh, Electra label, uh, as, as usual, like all the other Doors uh, albums, they're all on Electra, Electra label. Really good album. A really cool album. I love it. Very, very good. It's a shame Jim Morrison died after this. It's just a shame because this is this is their best album. I really want I wanted to see more Jim Morrison, but no, he he died. He had to drink himself to death. It's pretty sad, but I love this move. I love the this. I love this. Love this album. This album's great. Highly recommend it. And then we got Alice Cooper's Greatest Hits. Huge fan of Alice Cooper. Very obscure Greatest Hits. I don't recommend this now, but I found it at uh, Logan's Hardware for six bucks. Pretty cool. Also, the Joe Jackson album. My cousin found that at Logan's Hardware. It's in pretty good shape. It's on the Warner Brothers label. Has stuff like School's Out, I'm 18. Um, <clears throat> has some good stuff on it. Yeah, I'm 18, Desperado, School's Out, uh, Mr. Nice Guy, and stuff like that. Has some good stuff in there. It's also it's also in the original Shrink Wrap. Yeah, pretty cool album. Then I have an actual Alice Cooper Studio album, my favorite, School's Out. This is from uh, Reckless Records. <coughs> Just a great album. Original, this is an original pressing. This is the original, actually, Deskate Fold. Or, it opens up on the back. Which I don't want to do that, but here. That's sweet. The record itself, it's in okay shape. It's not great, it's not in great condition, but it's in decent condition. But it's a it's a really good record, really good album. Definitely one of my favorites. I love Alice Cooper. He's one of my favorite uh shock rock uh artists of all time, and this album is just freaking fantastic. Love it. The rest of these are my Punk albums, I love punk, that's my favorite genre, right next to the grunge. <coughs> so yeah, I have, a, I have a couple punk labels. Operation Ivy's only album, Energy. I found this a bucket of blood records. Along with Led Zeppelin 4, I got that for my dad for his birthday yesterday. They also had uh, Sex Pistols, uh, never mind the bollocks, but I, never I didn't pick it up. I didn't feel like it. I'll get it next time. This, this isn't, this is a, I haven't played this yet actually. Here's the original lyric sheet. This is a repressing, it's, or I think. This is a repressing, it does feel heavy, but yeah. Black vinyl. Yeah, I haven't played this yet, so I uh, have yet to, to try it out. I heard it's really good. I, I sampled one of their songs on YouTube, so my cousin said this album's great, so I picked it up. I had to get it because that was the only copy I found of this album, actually, so I, I'm glad I bought it. Yeah, that's Energy by Operation Ivy. It's a Scott Punk Rock album, that's all I, I know. Yeah. And then we got London Calling by The Clash. Great album, love London Calling. I have it on uh, iTunes, and having this on vinyl, very awesome. It's really freaking heavy. This is another repressing. The rest of these are repressings. But yeah, it's a double album. I don't know why they they, they they stacked it up like that. It's kind of annoying, but I might pick up another Clash album. I know Hot Topic has a couple of them. They have their debut album, uh, cut, 
uh, Sandinista. <coughs> <coughs> Give them enough rope in London calling. They don't have a cut the crap because that album did not do well. But I'll, I'll still want to. I still want to get cut the crap. I like this is England. That's the only song I heard from the album. But yeah, that's it's a great album. Probably their best album, definitely. Even though it's the only one I really heard. Dead Kennedys album. Give me convenience or give me death. I this is my favorite Dead Kennedys album ever. I have it on iTunes and I have it on vinyl for you pressing. This album is freaking hilarious too. I love the cover. Look at that, it's pretty funny. I bought, found this at the Exchange in Chicago. There's two records I found at the Exchange in Chicago. There, there's two I really wanted to get. But yeah. It has a booklet in here somewhere. Some funny material in it. Saturday Night Holocaust, you gotta see that. Can you see it? Yeah, you can, kind of. It's a pretty funny booklet. It's a great album. My favorite hardcore punk band is definitely Dead Kennedys. There's a couple cherry marks on this, because my cousin was setting up the turntable so we can play this, and he was eating cherries. Kind of annoying. Really good condition. Repressing of it. It's a really good album. I played this in Chicago. It's great. That and, the, and then there were three by Genesis. We played those when we were sick. Yeah, we both got sick. <coughs> it's hard to breathe when I cough a lot, which kind of sucks. Ugh. Put it back in there. Great album. This album is very, very good. If you're a punk fan, if you love Dead Kennedys, you need to pick up this album. This is their best. That is their best song in their police truck, which is my favorite uh, Dead Kennedy song ever. Great album. And the last one is a Ramones album. This is the repressing of Road to Ruin. I was trying to find... This and Rocket for Russia, I can't find that one anywhere in Chicago, which that kind of blows because I really want to get Rocket to Russia. So I texted him, sorry guys. That's my package. Okay. That was annoying. Okay, uh, this is my package. Amazon texted me. But yeah, I want to play this album so bad. I heard this album's really good, and I really want to play it. Gotta be careful here. There, just a record. It's on the Sire label, but it's a repressing 100 gram by Rhino. Like the debut album I have. Can't wait to play this, because I love the Ramones. They're my favorite punk rock band ever. I think they're the best. They make so much good stuff. I have uh, two greatest hits on my iPod, a greatest hits on CD. I have their debut on vinyl. I have uh, Road the Run. I need to find Rock at the Russia. I'll try to look at Books a Million, see if they have a copy. So, yeah, that's Road the Run. That's all the vinyl I, I found in Chicago. It's a lot of vinyl. That and uh, some stuff I got here. So, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still fighting the cough. Uh, so yeah, um, hope the, I hope the, I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, shout out to, uh, Peter, Kent, Robert Z, you guys are, are great, hi, hi, Pete, um, so yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy the video, and peace out, vinyl community.